Hello and welcome to Xbox Classics. In this installment, the game is Hunter the Reckoning. There is evil everywhere. Unknown to most humans, the world is ruled and directed by supernatural forces beyond their comprehension. Vampires and werewolves see humans as pawns in an endless battle for control. All of this is hidden from humanity. Are explained as gang violence, and the attacks explained as animal mauling. But now a mysterious force has imbued a chosen few humans with not just the knowledge of the evil, but with the power to do something about it. These are you and become hunters. Spencer Duke's wife on Avenger. Avengers tear down the supernatural, one creature at a time. Samantha Alexander, on Defender, protectors of the innocent and naive. On Esteban Cortez, on Judge, judges ensure that justice is served. Cassandra Chayam, on Martyr, martyrs are willing to sacrifice themselves for the cause. Ah, uh, Tony J. Anyway, um, this game was released in 2002 for the GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. Uh, it is an action game that I don't think is really remembered really as for uh, as quite as it should. It's not a terrible game, but it's not a great game either. Uh, let's uh, play the game. You have uh, basically four choices of uh, playable characters. Um, they all have different stats, and basically that's how they are separated. Um, I'm going to play as Martyr because she's the fastest. So, this game is essentially an updated version of, say, Gauntlet, um, the classic um, game Gauntlet. Last year, convicted serial killer Nathaniel Arcady was scheduled to die by electrocution. Things did not go according to plan. <laughs> They call this the imbuing, when everything you've ever known becomes a lie. The secret is laid bare, and the truth is revealed. There it stands in all its unholy glory, evil personified, and presented for hideous edification. exist, and they are everywhere. Of all the people present that day, only the four of us could see. See the guards for the monsters they were, and see the dead rise from the depths of Ashcroft prison to take their revenge. In the end, we managed to push the creatures back and finally lock them away in the prison. No one would ever have to disturb them again. Or so we hoped.
we hunt. So the storyline is incredibly stupid, but you know, who cares? It's the gameplay that counts, and again, like I said, this is a basically a, um, an Xbox, PlayStation 2, and GameCube take on classic Gauntlet, um, even though there was Gauntlet remakes. Alright, so you move around with the uh, right stick, or with the left stick, I should say. You basically attack with the trigger buttons, and you can aim um, with the right stick. Thanks for the hand. Don't know how much good it'll do, though. Those riots may have quieted down since last night, but that rail's the only way out of this town, and it's not going nowhere. Well, you need to get that thing moving, Cletus. Things are gonna get real ugly. Me? It's gonna take damn near 50 people working non-stop to get this thing going. Oddly Pacific. If you find me some help, it'll go faster. Well, this is off to a great start. Alright, so you attack enemies with um, basically melee attacks or distance attacks. The martyr has um, these dual blades and also has um, guns. Let's see, how do you switch to the guns? Let's get now. Oh, there we go. Your guns have infinite ammo, so you don't have to ever worry about running out. And as enemies are defeated, they sometimes will drop um, health and um, spirit points, which you know will replenish any damage you take and give you um, access to special moves. Being the fastest character, the murderer is easily um, can easily dodge enemies as long as you can see them. The game is kind of strange in that it has uh, different perspectives that you can um, play the game at. Like, if you want, you can zoom out. There, there's the maximum zoom, and make everything super small. Or you can keep zooming in. Yeah, there's the maximum zoom, I think. Alright, so it wants me to go find these glyphs. The first thing you gotta do here is... Basically, it's a t tutorial, but whatever, we're gonna just get that. So like I mentioned before, this game is available for the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, and the Xbox. And across the three platforms, they're pretty similar. Um, with really the only difference between them being um, that the uh, that the Xbox version runs in you know natively 480p still, so it doesn't look as bad as you might think. I just used one of my abilities, which is like, drain your health to increase your attack power. I need to open the door. There we go. I don't think there's anything useful here, so let's just move on. Thank you. 
The game also had a sequel um, called Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer, um, but I'll talk about that in a future video. If I don't need that. Okay, oh, just one more. Yes, yes. Activate this. Okay. Now it's time to get out of here. Okay, don't care. Let's keep going. The enemies do respawn, but they don't infinitely respawn, so that's kind of neat, um, and you need to pay the attention to that, um, and realize that eventually uh, these enemies will stop appearing. That's I'm almost dead. I better be careful. Now, as you attack by using the right trigger, like you do in a first-person shooter, um, it actually can be really rough on your finger. So, this is why I'm actually using a third-party controller um, for this review, because um, the reason uh, I'm using this is because the stock um, Xbox, even the controller S, um, if you keep pressing the trigger button over and over, eventually your thumb will get really sore. This isn't really as much of a case you know, using a third-party controller. I mean, I'm using a Mad Cat's controller here. Keep going. Grade A voice what actor. What the hell is wrong with you people? You stay away from me. Kaylee? Kaylee! There was a little girl I was watching. I need to get her to the church. Just get to the church. I'll find her. Obviously, it was never really a priority, but God, voice acting in this game is terrible. The game I does I do believe does have multiplayer, um, and you know that does add up to the excitement of the game. You know when you're playing it on um, co-op. Yeah, 
And even single player, the game isn't bad, especially not for the fact that you can get this game for like a dollar or two at most. You switch weapons by using the face buttons. If enemies get too close, you automatically will attack with like a melee attack with your guns. As long as you're not reloading. Fighters. Hmm. Okay.
love when people just let the let the zombies or whatever just 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 keep wailing on them. They're just gonna cower. Oh, that's a good idea. And I'm on fire. That's a good idea too. Small fence in the way? Oh well. Guess I can't get over there. And this is the end of the level. Alright guys, I think with that, it's bringing it to the end of the video. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this game, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also be sure to hit the like button, because hitting the like button helps support my channel and lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. So thanks for watching. I'm just going to let myself get killed here. And that will be the end of the video. guys. See you guys next time. I'm a cat.